You could have given up, but you didn't. You could have stopped believing, but you didn't. You could have kept living their expectations, but you decided to make this life your own. And in turn, you're here. Hello everyone, today we're meeting Ari Hoffman, who is a spiritual uh, teacher, psychic, uh, psychic medium. medium, and also the radio personality, as well as the author of the book, uh, so today we're going to talk about his journey of becoming the person he is today. I'd like you to share with us how has it all started for you? When did you know uh, that this is something that's been calling <coughs> for you? I didn't know it was calling for me at all. I wasn't born with it. I didn't have it at all. And um, believe it or not, uh, I was very frustrated in my life. I was about 27 years old. I had everything going right for me, but yet I still wasn't satisfied. You know, I was married at the time, nice mm -hmm. house, job was good, right. friends, family, everything was great. But inside, I still felt there was more to me. And I'm having a little conversation with God. Mm -hmm. And I said, God, you need to give me answers. You need to give me clear answers. And please don't scare the hell out of me when you do it. Right. And so the next day I walk into my kitchen and there was a bunch of junk mail on the kitchen counter. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking through it, and I normally just throw it out. I have no patience for junk mail. But I was going through it, and there was a postcard, and it mm -hmm. said, How would you like to develop your psychic ability and intuitiveness? Right. Come to the Edgar Casey Foundation in Virginia Beach for this one weekend seminar. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it, and I said, Oh, wow, I didn't know you could learn how to do this. I thought either you had it or you didn't. Yes. So I asked my wife, who was my wife at the time, I said, you want to try this? It looks interesting. She goes, nah, I don't give a shit about that. You can go if you want. I don't want to go. So hence the ex-wife. So I, I went for that one weekend seminar. And there's mm -hmm. 50 of us from all different parts of the country in this one very, very large room. And they got you into that spiritual zone with the way they were talking about life, about spirituality. They were playing this beautiful serenity music and everything. And they said, okay, we're going to break you up into little groups and whoever you're with, just share your thoughts and feelings with them and don't judge it, don't second guess it. Okay. So most of the people who I was doing this for was telling me I was pretty accurate and I was mm -hmm. shocked because I never met these people before and I'm able to tell them things about themselves. And, and I said, how would I know that? You know? And they said, yeah, you're right about this. Right? Oh my God, as people were doing it back to me. So I, I was blown away by it. So I went home and I got myself a deck of cards, spiritual cards. Mm -hmm. And I was reading for friends and family for like three years just for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. And again, people were telling me how accurate I was. And to be honest with you, I thought I was just blowing smoke up their ass, just telling them <laughs> stories about the future. Right. Not realize, no, this is what I see. This I said, no, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I, but I was like, maybe yes, maybe no, you know. <laughs> I'm just starting at this. Mm -hmm. But just about everything I said would come true and people would come back to me. Already this came true, that came true. I said, wow, yeah. thank God. So you've been using the cards all this time? Yeah, I do use cards, not always. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I hold people's hands, okay. I'll just zero in, I get messages. Um, when I connect to people's loved ones who have passed away, mm -hmm. they show me a picture of that person. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a recent picture. And I look in their eyes and they start communicating to me my thoughts. Oh, I see. So when I, um, so I got to a point where I needed extra money for investments. Mm -hmm. And um, I need a lot of money fast. And I'm thinking to myself, what else can I do other than just my regular job that I was yeah. doing at the time, which I still own. It's a window cleaning power washing business. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, you know what? I know how to do readings. I said, I'll throw an ad in the paper. And it said, if I don't pull through, no charge. Not the case today. Everyone pays me. <laughs> so 90% of the people paid me. Because I didn't want money to be in an aspect. Like, if I pulled through, great. If I didn't, all right, it was nice sharing time with you. But literally 90% of the people paid me. And by word of mouth, right. it just took off. And a little more advertising, it took off. And now I do what's also known as arty parties. Oh. So people hire me to do parties at their houses. And I do events, and I do fundraisers. 
And um, I did a reading for this one lady. She thought I was the worst reader she ever met. She says, Artie, you didn't hit on anything. Three months after the reading, everything I said to her came true, everything. And she was blown away. I told her things about her son and about her daughter, about her job. She said, no way, no way, no way. And everything came true. She happened to be the number one salesperson on the, on the biggest radio station in New Jersey. And she got me to perform on radio at her radio station. And she talked to one of the major radio personnel. She says, you gotta get this guy on the air, he's amazing. He said, all right. And so I got to be on that show. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna say it, cause I don't wanna you know, just advertise the radio. Mm -hmm. And then there was another radio show I was only supposed to be on one time because the producer didn't believe in what I do. But after he saw me, the next day, he called me up, he says, Art, he goes, he was impressed afterwards though. And he goes, Art, he goes, after you left the studio, we had 22 people calling in, wanting to talk to you. Oh, wow. He goes, what do you think about being on our radio station every week? And I said, yeah, that works. And so I was on the show for 12 years. 12 years. 12 years, I was only supposed to be on one time. And so. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. <laughs> So between that station, that station, and then uh, somebody heard me on the radio, and then I, I got on Fox TV, mm -hmm. and that was cool. And now I'm gonna be performing in Atlantic City at Hard Rock Casino oh. for, for a lot of their high rollers. So it's like really exciting. It's just one thing leads to another, two leads to another. Oh. I've read for people all around the world, uh, sport figures, mm -hmm. famous actors and actresses. Um, everybody your common joe your common people and i would probably say i've been doing this now for over 30 years and i've read for over 30,000 people in my life wow that's a lot and everything started with just sharing your thoughts with friends family and what it like what you saw at that time and everything kind of like came out to life and became real and that's how you uh with the word of mouth you just said that word was spread it like so fast. Yes. And that's what gave you more of the um, success. And confidence and too. Confidence. It, it built me more confidence. Because there were times where I thought I sucked. I said, I don't know if I was good with them. I don't know if I was good at this part. But then days, weeks, and months later, people would be emailing me. Hey, Art, this came true, that came true. And I got oh, <laughs> all excited. You know, so it was like really, really cool. So, um, and it was so funny the very first time I was on the radio mm -hmm. uh, at Cat Country in, um, in uh, Atlantic City area, um, the producer said to me, he kind of put me on the spot, he goes, so Art, uh, do you have any lottery numbers for us? Yeah. And I said, yeah, that's easy. I said, 1073. That was the radio station. Oh. Uh, that was their numbers, 107.3. I said, yeah, that's easy, 1073. Well, he emailed me the next day and he goes, Art, I played, and he says, I played those numbers. I don't know if you're kidding or not, but you only missed by one number. Oh, wow. You only missed Look by one that. number. <laughs> How about the Powerball tonight, right? Really? <laughs> yeah. I that's wish. That's impressive. It's something that, you know, we kind of like take for granted, but we never kind of see the the value in it and those who are close to us they they see your uh gifts and they start talking to other people about it and this is how it grows the uh word of mouth word of mouth and the audience and those who would be interested in what you can offer and like, like you said your intention in the beginning was to help people not about you know money i had him, i had no own. idea that it was just going to manifest to be what right. it's going to be i mean god obviously had his own plans for me you know yes. but um and he knew because i lost money in the stock market and i had to pay people back mm -hmm. but i felt in my heart and soul that that was going to take off and wouldn't you know it the moment i sold it so because i was losing so much, the moment i sold it they both took off like a sudden when i say the moment one went up 100% and the other one went up 600% all within one year. I was so angry, but it was that moment that prompted me, I have to make more money to pay back people. And so I got into readings and then it gave me a whole career. So that loss was the biggest gain of my life. Yes, actually we look at it as a lesson and something to take from it and to become stronger and this is how you learned and you found uh, a path for yourself to success. Maybe there is something else you want to share with others who are 
you know, not sure what to do in their lives, like feeling stuck or maybe unsatisfied, what they could do in order to find their own voice or their own like passion and life. Easy, get a reading from me. <laughs> Artie Hoffman at Gmail. You email me. Artie yeah. Hoffman at Gmail. And I'll tell you. No, um, but the thing is, it's like, like I said, when you put it out there, um, a strong suggestion that comes to me right now, if whatever it is you want, whether it be where's my direction or what should I do, or if they want to communicate to a loved one, yeah. write it on a piece of paper, your question, and put it underneath your pillow okay. when you go to sleep. It will either come to you in your dreams or within a day or two. Mm -hmm. It will just, it, it will come to you. Something will come to you sure. as some kind of a sign. Mm -hmm. But you've got to put the energy out there because if you go, oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, then you're going to be stuck in nowhere land. But if you're really asking a question, God, please help me, or St. Teresa, or the angels, or Jesus, or Moses, or whoever, mm -hmm. can you please help me find my purpose in life? Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, you write that question, you put it underneath your pillow. Or can you please send me the love of my life? Or can you please, you know, whatever. Yeah. Put it underneath your pillow and sleep on it, and then the angels work their magic. It's about letting go of control. Mm -hmm. Once you ask, what it is you want, you just let it go. You, if you're obsessive about it, you won't get it. Whatever you obsess, you won't possess. Okay, so first you have to let go of that <coughs> control, kind of believe that it will come to you. You believe it. And say, I'm writing it down. Say, thank you for these beautiful answers. Mm -hmm. Thank you for answering my question. And then you just let it go, and then it will come to you. The answer will somehow, some way come to you. It might be a week, it might be a day, it could be whatever. You don't know. It's in God's timing. Right. You know? So, um, but a lot of times, whatever people were doing as a child, mm -hmm. what they like to play with, yes. or like to do, oh. that's usually their career. Oh, so early in age, we kind of already know what we want to do. But because you're already know. doing it while you're playing. Right. So if somebody likes to clean up or somebody wants to be the mommy or somebody wants to be the teacher mm -hmm. or somebody likes to take apart their toys and then put them back together, <laughs> yeah. they're a mechanic or they're an engineer or they're going to be a carpenter, mm -hmm. you know. But it has something usually to do with what they like to do as a child. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were just very good with people, their personality, mm -hmm. so they might be a therapist or something. But it's a lot of it, it's like whatever it is your passion is, mm -hmm. as a child or what you like to do, that's usually what it is. Right. And yeah. I was always very good with people and I sucked with school. Mm. I did, I was terrible with school. And I never went to college, but you know, I wrote two books, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Angels and Answers, okay. and Have Your Angels Call My Angels. Mm -hmm. And in this book, it says, I went to the University of Maryland in Boston for two years, mm -hmm. but that was just to visit my friends. Right. So, but I, I really didn't get a college education. And I always wanted to become a therapist. Mm -hmm. And um, and now that I became a psychic, people call me their psychic therapist, and I'm just as good as any therapist out there. And the interesting thing is now I have therapists who come see me for answers. Oh, wow, look at that. But the only reason why I know what I know mm -hmm. It's not because I'm better than anybody else, well, except my two brothers. But <laughs> other than that, but the only reason why I know what I know uh -huh. is because the spiritual world and the Holy Spirit is kind enough to feed me all these beautiful thoughts and messages. Or when I'm communicating to a loved one who has passed away, uh -huh. they feed me all these beautiful thoughts and messages and I share it with the people who's ever in for a reading or whatever. Yeah. So. I take, kind of I take nothing for granted. For other people. Yeah. To, so you let yourself be a messenger for them to receive the information. Yeah, yeah, I'm a messenger. So even though my license plate says, I just know, yeah. that's what it says on my license plate. Oh, wow. But the reality is, I only know what I know, only because of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, a lot of people have said to me, not a lot, but a good amount, have said to me, well, all right, uh, that what you do is evil, or that's the devil's work, or it's against my religion, or they mm -hmm. say it's against God. And I say, well, you might say it's against your religion, but it's not against God. Because it's all what your intentions are behind your actions right. is what makes something right or wrong. And I said, and I do say my prayers to the Holy Spirit, and mm -hmm. I do, uh, I believe in God, and I do uh, say my prayers to the angels and to the saints. Mm 
-hmm. and I ask them for their help and their guidance. So I say, if you're saying what I do is devil's work, then I need to shake his hand and thank him because he's helped me save and heal a lot of people. And I say that sarcastically because I really don't believe, you know, give much energy to the dark side. So everything I do is with the best of intentions and with the white light, light. So mm -hmm. I have helped people with their love life, medically mm -hmm. give people answers, uh, even with their pets, uh, people legal advice, and I'm not a lawyer. Mm -hmm. right. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a doctor. I'm better than they are, but I'm not them. <laughs> so I didn't go to Harvard or Yale. You're a true healer. So, yeah, yeah, you could say that. People have said that. So, And it's interesting because, you know, whenever I do a show or I'm doing an event, I never know what I'm going to say until the moment happens. And it's all about blind faith. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when I show up in the building or at the house and... Um, I don't get any messages or you know pre-thought at all mm. but the moment i start mm. talking to people yeah. magic happens and the answers just start flowing through instantly i've gotten nervous a couple of times but mm -hmm. this, but every because there are times where i wasn't in the mood or i was tired yeah. or i was physically hurting or whatever like ah, mm -hmm. ah. and then all of a sudden as soon as the show time starts the angels are just feeding me, and I just magic happens, and I and I joke around a lot. I joke around a lot. So I have a Facebook time show uh -huh. Sunday nights at eight p.m. Okay. Eastern time, yeah. and it's called Angels and Answers. Mm -hmm. And I read people for free on my Facebook Live. Angels I'm gonna put answers. a link in the description of this episode for those who are interested. Yeah, uh. and so one of the funny comments because I joke <laughs> around a lot when I do what I yeah. do, so. One of the common questions a girl will ask me, Art, do you see me getting pregnant soon? Mm. And I say, yeah, when you stop watching my show and get in the bedroom, your odds are going to go way up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, um, thank you for everything, for sharing your wisdom with us. And is there anything else you want to tell people right now? Yes, the love and respect that you give is the love and respect that you deserve. So if the people are not appreciating you in the way you wish to be appreciated, then you need to either talk to them or move out. You can't stop growing comfortable in the uncomfortableness mm -hmm. in your situation. Because if you still stay there, well then it's just as much as your fault as it is theirs because you're allowing to accept this. But you gotta present yourself in a certain way. So if you wanna be respected, in a respectful manner or in a nicer way. You need to pre present yourself that way. Right. Because if you present yourself like, um, I don't know, like being super vulnerable, or you're acting like a jackass, or you're not being serious, and but you, but you, why are people treating me like this? Mm -hmm. Because it's the way you're presenting yourself right. and the way you're coming across. Or, or maybe you just need a stronger backbone, you know, to, to not allow people to take advantage of you. Right. So you need to be able to stand up for yourself. But that's what these books you know, so mm -hmm. are all about. And, and you know, so when people go to my website, artiehoffman.com, mm -hmm. I have my books there and I have you know, money incense that bring in okay. uh, money to people. And it really works. I'm telling you, it works. <laughs> yeah. I get a lot of testimonies. People have won the lottery. Mm -hmm. People have won concert tickets mm -hmm. when they burn the incense. And people have gotten the job that they wanted. <laughs> and actually, uh -huh. really quickly, this is what it is. And they get oh. 10 of them, they get 10 of them in a pack, and okay. they each last 90 minutes. And you don't burn it out, it's gotta burn it out, burn out itself, and you get a little prayer to say with it. Okay. And just when you burn it, just let it go, and just magic happens. And yeah, a lot. I get a lot of repeat customers. Oh, that's wonderful gifts that you're sharing with others. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna find a, a something that they could apply in their lives and, and if they want to like talk to you in a more personal basis, they could contact you through the Facebook group, right? Uh, Facebook, or no, more so through email. Or email. Artie Hoffman also. at Gmail. Yeah, I'll add it as well. Yeah. So if somebody wants to do But if they want to contact me, they can definitely contact me. Mm -hmm. You know, and whether it be as a group reading, mm -hmm. uh, personal group reading, or if you have an event, I do fundraisers also. Okay. And uh, private sessions and I read people from all around the world literally around the country around the world yeah. and I'm just as accurate over the phone as I am in person because the physicalness yeah. has nothing to do with 
uh, the spirituality. It's all sure. me messages spiritually. So you can do it either through the, uh, you know, online or in person, right? Well, over the phone or in person. Okay. I don't do me I don't okay. do that over the line. I don't do. I, um, I do it. You know, I'll do it like um, what was that? Um, messenger, yeah. uh, phone, or FaceTime, or yeah, you can do FaceTime because it doesn't cost when you're far away. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, and then over the phone, besides in person. Oh, that's wonderful. A lot of ways to connect. And thank you again. <laughs> um, it was my pleasure. pleasure. It was my pleasure. And I thank you for having me on your show. All right. I, I enjoyed my time. Yes, me too. Thank, thank you very you. much. And bye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, hit the subscribe button and share it with others. Stay tuned.